No, you aren't an ENTP, and I'm gonna tell you why you're really just a boring ENTJ who wants to be the Joker, which is kind of messed up when you think about it. The funny thing is that if you are seriously an ENTP, you're probably considering whether or not you're an ENTJ. Whereas if you're an ENTJ, you're going to be mad at me for even questioning you're not an ENTP. So in this video, I have seven reasons why you aren't an ENTP. Suck it up, ENTJs. You like to settle down. When ENTPs think of settling down, they think of boringness and dread. You know, the thing that ISTJs are into, and ENTPs want nothing to do with it. To them, commitment is the second scariest word in the English language. Comment down below what you think their most feared word is. ENTPs want to have all of their options open at all times. You know the saying about how when God shuts one door, he opens another one? Well, ENTPs will be chopping down the door God closed with an axe. And if you think chopping down God's door is risky, don't worry about it. All ENTPs are atheists. You avoid arguments. The very first thing an ENTP does when they wake up is get on their phone to start an argument with some random person on Reddit. Oh, and if you don't have a Reddit account, you're not an ENTP. ENTPs might say they prefer intellectual debates as opposed to arguments, because arguments are useless. But I'm an INFP, so it's all the same to me. ENTPs have a really good reason for getting into arguments, though. It's because it's fun, and they don't really need a better reason than that. But they do have a second reason. By getting involved in debates, they can better see all sides of an argument. This helps them better understand their position and the perspective of others. And it can also help their opponents too, by helping them strengthen their own opinions. At the end of the day, an ENTP couldn't care less if you agree with them or not. They really just want your position to be consistent and logic. You make plans. Well, all ENTPs are atheists, there is one aspect of God they like. When we make plans, God laughs. ENTPs love to use this so they don't have to plan. Now, ENTPs can plan ahead and prepare, they just don't want to. They understand that sometimes you gotta set up some rules and protocols, but those times are few and far between, or at least they'd like to think so. To a lot of people, they take comfort in making plans. It makes them feel secure, but ENTPs think they're wusses. Nah, I'm just kidding. ENTPs can respect people who make plans, they just don't want to be included in them. Unless it's a cell phone plan, because they'd like free mobile data. ENTPs just feel trapped by lots of schedules and rules. And, in a way, that makes them feel less secure. So, they're just gonna wing it. I mean, it's worked before. You are serious. ENTPs can be serious when the time calls for it, but their default is batshit crazy mode. ENTPs love fun. They're always looking to explore new ideas and new concepts. To them, the Earth is like a giant candy store. Sure, all the candy might be melting and the air smells like car exhaust, but it is what it is. ENTPs view life as a joke, and this is how ENTPs cope. So expect an ENTP to have a dark sense of humor. Though they do understand that not everybody will like. Dark humor is like food after all. Not everybody gets it. This video was made possible by Patreon backers like you. Thank you. If you'd like to get early access, behind the scenes content, and more, check out my Patreon when you're done watching this video. Thanks for checking it out and let's get back to the video. You are focused. Ben Franklin was an inventor, doctor, writer, entrepreneur, insurrectionist, ladies man, and amateur kite flyer who was constantly losing his keys. And yes, he was an ENTP. Ben Franklin was also so unfocused that even his glasses were disordered. He invented bifocals so his specs would have multiple focusing lenses. Honestly, I'm surprised he didn't invent difocals. ENTPs will have multiple passions, hobbies, and interests. All of them seemingly unrelated, but somehow ENTPs will be pretty good at all of them. They're like the definition of the jack of all trades, master of none. You're confident in your views. Well, it might not seem like it with ENTPs challenging wet floor signs to debates and all, but ENTPs really aren't sure of anything. They're really good at seeing multiple sides of an issue, and they can see how other people's opinions are valid too. But if you can see that every side has valid points, 
then how do you know which position is right? Well, you don't. And weirdly enough, ENTPs like this. They want to be unsure. Because once you know the answer, the game is over. Basically, what I'm saying is that ENTPs would rather go back to caveman times where everything was a mystery and it was socially acceptable to bonk your friends on the head with clubs. You don't care about people. I think one of the most surprising things about ENTPs is just how empathic and caring they are. I know they're the ultimate trolls and they've been banned from every single forum on the internet at least once. But ENTPs really care about people. And it makes sense. Why would ENTPs care so much about everybody's point of view if they were apathetic to people? It's just that ENTPs have a funny way of showing it. Well, love might be an open door to some. To ENTPs, love is a slap on the side of the head. So if you aren't an ENTP, then maybe you're an INTJ. No, wait, you're not that type either. And I've made an entire video telling you exactly why. I've also made a playlist of me telling you why you aren't whatever type you think you are right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Special thanks to my patrons, and I'll catch you guys all next time.